वेलकम बैक टू द न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ एक्सप्लोर चाइना विद आसिम व्यूअर्स टुडे वी हैव डिसाइडेड टू हैव एन अमेजिंग विजिट ऑफ चेचांग साइटेक यूनिवर्सिटी इन चाइनीज इट इज द चेचांग लीगोंग कॉशवे सो वी विल हैव अ कैंपस टूर वी विल शो यू ऑल द फैसिलिटीज हेयर व्हाट आर द डिपार्टमेंट्स व्हाट आर द मेजर्स वी विल टेल यू अबाउट दिस हाउ दे फैसिलिटेट द स्टूडेंट्स व्हाट काइंड ऑफ कैंटीन्स कैफेटेरियाज दे हैव व्हाट इज द लिविंग एनवायरमेंट everything we will show in this video this is a detailed video a detailed campus tour of the jechang saitek university viewers know i am inside the campus of the jechang saitek university and it is located in the siasha higher education zone of the hangzhou city this university has a long history of 120 years almost and uh, it has a lot of majors uh, with uh, many specializations from the bachelor to the doctorate level for example they have very big textile institution for the textile sciences and engineering life sciences and engineering material science and engineering arts and design economics uh, many majors from the bachelor to the doctorate level uh, they are offering besides the educational programs for the chinese and international students uh, university also organize many kind of international workshops international conferences international seminars to collaborate with the international student and international organizations viewers behind me is the silk museum of the jechang ligong tashwe means jechang saitek university and uh, i also want to share with you the textile science and engineering is uh, the first uh, uh, program in the in the jechang ligong tashwe and uh, the hangzhou is also famous for the silk so that's why they built up one silk museum here to share the importance of the silk and the history art and the culture of the silk viewers know i am inside the museum and 2021 is very important year for the chinese because this is the 100th anniversary of the founding of the communist party of china and to share the development history with the young generation university has organized one big exhibition at the first floor of the museum viewers red culture plays an important role in the development history of china The Communist Party of the China leads the Chinese people in realizing national liberation, national prosperity and people's happiness. The culture resources accumulated in this process are called the red culture and they aim to summarize present and share the historical process, basic experience and the brilliant achievements of the China's development led by the uh, CPC through learning and spreading red culture by the exhibition. Viewers know I am inside the exhibition hall. and around me are the many portraits of the important uh, personalities as well as the important events uh, about the red culture and they displayed here so that the newcomers when they arrive here in the university they can have the know how about the red culture at the third floor of the silk museum and here is the exhibition about the historical silk of the china beside me is the very special item and these costumes are the chinese female costume and they are called chi pao and uh, along this side i can show you here are many special items of the silk with the very special designs as you can see behind me even with the embroidery as well as the cultural historical designs on the silk so these all are displayed in the silk museum viewers know i am in front of the library and this is the central point of the jejang saitek university and if you come to the university and you forget your way then make it a sorry take it as a center and then you can find your way in which department you want this is the central hub this is very big library with more than 10 floors having a lot of books chinese books international books journals 
study rooms, newspapers, as well as they have some meeting halls, conference halls, many big conferences are also arranged here. So this is a big library. So let's go inside. Viewers, I am inside the library and you can see around me are the books and uh, these are the Chinese books uh, and uh, also the, at the 8th floor, I am at the 4th floor, at the 8th floor there are the English books also and uh, this is the reading hall. You can see behind me the students are sitting on the tables and they can study here, they can read here as well as they can do their research work here because this is very silent place and uh, have the cool cool air conditioner and very good space and uh, people can come here even they can enjoy their tea or their small snacks as well as they can study. You can see this is the uh, fourth floor one reading hall and a big hall and this kind of many halls are available in this library. this is the study hall at the second floor and uh, here so there are many kinds of magazines as well as the uh, newspapers if you are interested to study some kinds of magazines a novel or newspaper you can come to this hall and uh, it has a very good space you can sit here in the silence in a silent environment and you can uh, study your books viewers know I am at the 12th floor of the library and from here you can see the scenic area of the Hangzhou Hangzhou is really very beautiful city having a lot of trees, a lot of greenery, many beautiful lakes. This area is really very developed area and it can provide the, a lot of opportunities to the students. Once you get graduated from the university, you can have a lot of chance. Many industries are here, many developmental centers are here, so they can make their career. So you, from here you can see the beautiful view of the Hangzhou city. Viewers, along with the books, uh, the library also have one family mart. Means this is a mini mart. If you are so busy and you get tired, you want some refreshment and you want to eat something, then you can come here. This is the mini mart. It has everything, even the hot food also, hot coffee, hot tea. You can see many things are available here. So while studying, to make yourself refresh, boost up, you can come to the family mart and you can take the food of your own choice. Viewers, now I am in front of the clock tower. This is another center of the university. Beside it, uh, there are many things. Along the one side of the clock tower is the stadium. Other side of the clock tower is the sport ground. And uh, beside the sport ground is the gymnasium. And in front of the clock tower is the academic buildings. Viewers, Zhejiang SciTech University has very modern classrooms with the multimedia, whiteboards and all the facilities, the modern facilities here, even with very comfortable chairs, means you have a lecture here or your class here, you will feel a good comfort and you can study and also enjoy here. You can see here very comfortable chairs and also the multimedia background, whiteboard, and uh, mic is also here if the crowd is too much so many students they have the mic multimedia system so you can listen the voice very clearly Just now I am in front of the art and design department and this is very rich department. They have many speciali specializations like uh, 3D designs, uh, product designs, uh, industrial designs, uh, environmental design, etc. Viewers, this is the workshop for the furniture design and they have all the tools here, the cutting tools, the screws, uh, screwdrivers, uh, everything is available here. So the students work here, they practice here for the furniture designing. Viewers know I am inside the 3D printing lab and I can show you here one machine is working and uh, this is for the 3D printing and it is making a very beautiful pattern here you see this is it used the robot technology automatic machine and it is doing some kind of 3D printing. We can also show you some objects that are made by these machines they have placed here as a model you can see here uh, like this. 
this one is also printed by this 3D printing machine as well as you can see these are the some kind of vases so very beautiful models are here viewers know i am in the space lab and uh, this area is especially designed for the car designing 3d car designing by different softwares so here is uh, one of our uh, friend we will talk to them and uh, okay can you tell me uh, what are you doing and what is this uh, yes i'm just doing uh, my personal uh, my personal career and this is my job I just to design a Mercedes-Benz mm. and I want to try to do something different from the nowadays uh, Mercedes cars so about just, Mercedes car uh, Mercedes, oh, yes. very very big brand yes. so yeah. at first I just to find some uh, I found mm. some curve just to make uh, some inspirations mm -hmm. to design mm -hmm. and this and I draw some pictures, draw some car sketch to mm. uh, improve my design, and and it didn't finish. Mm. I, I will just uh, to make it for about uh, uh, two months. One more question: First, you design on the paper, then you use any specific software to design in the computer. Uh, what what yes, kind of this? Use. Uh, photoshops uh -huh. yes it's uh, and also there is a uh, sorry yes and also I will use to the blender to make the 3d models oh, 3d models yes uh -huh. okay viewers know you have seen uh, we have talked to our friend also so this is the uh, uh, space lab and uh, they have guided us first they make the sketch on the paper and uh, our this friend is uh, working for the must these cars and uh, now he has some ideas first he will draw on the paper and then he will transfer that idea to the computer and work on the softwares and then he will apply for the model viewers know i am in the mechanical engineering lab and uh, here you can see around me there are the jumbo size machines these machines uh, are used to make the different kind of parts uh, of the different products, different other machines, uh, means the spare parts. They can design here some new, even those parts are used in the uh, robot technology as well as the metallic calligraphy. They are also cutting here, means there are many machines that are used, they have the cutting tools, uh, some are the designing tools, uh, some make the different shapes. Uh, so this is the mechanical engineering lab viewers as you know fashion industry is grooming nowadays too much and uh, the chinese fashion industry is very developed so in that our university is also contributing by this way you can see they are showing many kind of new designs new research and uh, new ideas to contribute in the fashion industry viewers know i am in the workshop of the fashion department and this is a stitching workshop and uh, you can see many students are working here and they are stitching the clothes and uh, I want to introduce that uh, university has enough facilities for every student to work freely in this kind of uh, very peaceful environment. Viewers know I am in the modern lab area of the materials and the textile department and very developed de departments and they have very advanced machinery for the advanced analysis means if students are working here according to their direction in the materials department or in the textile department they no need to go anywhere they can do every kind of basic analysis to the advanced analysis in these labs i can uh, share with you this full area has the many kind of activities uh, they can uh, uh, arrange many kind of seminars uh, as well as uh, many kind of uh, conferences uh, to groom the research interest of the students and they have very advanced lab and also every year they are publishing a lot of new research papers with the advanced technologies and advanced research. As I told you that uh, uh, this, these departments and other departments of the university also they are making the academic exchanges with foreign countries and uh, with the foreign uh, experts of the field of the textile, field of the materials, uh, field of the fashion and they, may, they arrange many kind of international conferences as well as international seminars. Viewers, now I am in front of the laboratory of the surface science and the interface science of the polymer materials. 
and uh, this building has uh, all the machines uh, for the uh, analysis of the surface modifications of the materials uh, as well as the polymer materials and they make uh, all the things that can be implemented to the uh, society and for their benefit as well as uh, some nano materials uh, they modify their surface by the other materials uh, and they are using them for the uh, biomedical applications, uh, industrial applications uh, as well as the energy applications. Viewers University has a lot of uh, modern analysis equipments uh, as I can share with you behind me the students are using the scanning electron microscopy uh, for the analysis of their uh, materials. Viewers, this is the jumbo size basketball court of the university and uh, you can see here so many students in their free time when they don't have the classwork, they can come here and can play the basketball and there are so many courts of the basketball here. Viewers, this is the basketball stadium of the Zhejiang SciTech University. Outdoor space, we have already shown you where students practice and here uh, they come for the competitions. Among the university students uh, are among the other uh, university students as well as with the uh, international students at international level and this is very beautiful and very big basketball stadium. And uh, this one is the uh, aerobic court as well as the karate classes are often arranged here. And you can see in the video that uh, people are practicing the karate here and uh, behind me is the table tennis court so many students as well as the teacher in their free time they come here to play the table tennis and table tennis the ping pong is very famous in china Pius university also have one big hospital and uh, if you have any problem or uh, having any emergency during the study time or uh, as a st registered student or as well as the faculty members if they have any disease or any problem they can come here this is a 24 hour service hospital and uh, doctors are available there you can have the necessary medicine as well as the prescription from the doctors viewers know we are in the living area of the university and uh, i want to share with you that the living area of uh, Zhejiang SciTech university has been divided into three parts living area one living area two and living area three living area one and three is uh, specifically for the chinese student and uh, living area two also has one very big building uh, that is the friendship building and this is specially for the international students so later in the video we will show you the detailed overview of the friendship building also viewers we are in front of the friendship building and this building is specially for the international students this building has the 16 floor and this is the one of the best uh, dormitory in the seasha area the higher education zone of the hangzhou so let's go inside we will show you the building from inside we just know we are inside the friendship building and we can show you here is the reception counter if any guest come here or any outsider come first they have to register here and uh, this uncle and i they will check the temperature they will register and then the person will be allowed to go inside and before going inside again here is the electric door and uh, this door will open with the face scanning as well as with the card punching so outsiders are not allowed to go inside the living area viewers now we are taking you to the living area of the uh, friendship building and uh, we will show you many facilities for the international students now let's go inside this room we can show you this room is well furnished room with all of the basic needs in this room and uh, you can see they will give you the refrigerator they will give you the rack to place your stuff here and uh, very beautiful washroom very neat and clean have the mirror inside and all the basic facilities are available here they have the hot water system that is available for the 24 hour you can see these are the working tables here you can place your stuff as well as uh, this chair and here you can place the, your computer or laptop to work and uh, this table you can use for uh, if you want to have the television or if you want to place uh, some kind of multimedia uh, system here you can place this is your choice one room is for the two people so very beautiful neat and clean beds with one big cupboard here you can place your clothes as well as uh, it has the two floors here also you can place your necessary stuff so very good furniture available in these dormitories with the big bed 
as well as uh, this has the common bedside table with two drawers. One drawer is for one student and second is for second student. So this is the living room for the friendship building and uh, for the international students. We are every floor of the dorm, they have the kitchen and this kitchen is the common kitchen with the cabins. All the rooms uh, here in this uh, floor, they will choose one one cabin and they can put their stuff here. There are the cooking stoves, electric stoves, as well as the exhausts are here. Similarly to warm the food, ovens are available here. And uh, for the personal cooking, the students, they always have their own cookers and they can also keep here and or they can bring back to their room or they use the electricity of the kitchen. This is the dining table here. If someone wants to eat here, they can cook and uh, eat here or they can bring their food after cooking to their room. Viewers, there are the laundries uh, at every second floor of the uh, dormitory and uh, I can share with you, hey, they have so many facilities here. Uh, these are the hair dryers, means uh, if students wash their uh, uh, hair and they need to dry, they can use the, these hair dryer and these are free here. As well as this is the steamer. If you some if students need to steam their uh, clothes, uh, iron their clothes, they can use this electric steamer. You see, these are the automatic machines. They are installed. These uh, uh, machines are for the washing, and these are the dryers. So uh, these two machines they worked with the same way. The electric scanning code and this code you will scan by your uh, mobile and then you will select the time how much time you want to wash your clothes uh, or how much time you want to dry your clothes. Uh, there is also one amazing thing and these are the massagers. Uh, you can sit here, you pay by scanning this code and you can have the massage. Viewers know I am in front of the cafeteria of the university and I want to share with you that university has the three cafeterias. Cafeteria 1, Cafeteria 2, Cafeteria 3 just like the living buildings. In the living building 1 is the Cafeteria 1 and it has the three floors. And in the living area 2 same and same in the living area 3. So now we are at the living area 2 and this is the second floor of the cafeteria so let's go inside. Viewers, all the three canteens have the small, small buffet also and as you can see here, they make the fresh food and you can choose by yourself and after choosing the food, you just go to the counter and pay according to the contents of your food. So all the three canteens have the mini, mini buffets at every floor almost. Viewers, you can see here a lot of food counters and a variety of food as well as very good space for sitting. And uh, this is really very luxurious canteen. You will feel that you are in a five-star hotel and you are having your meal. Viewers, Jejan SciTech University also has the Muslim canteen at the third floor of the building area two and the second canteen. Viewers, finally we have completed the campus tour of the Jiajang SciTech University. We have shown you the uh, living environment of the students uh, as well as we have shown you the what are the facilities in the campus, uh, many labs, uh, all the sportive materials uh, and many things uh, that support the study as well as the health as well as the living standards of the students. Hope you like our video. If you like our video then please subscribe our channel, like it and share it and wait for the next episode. Tab tak ke liye, Allah Hafiz.